That's so you guys don't think I'm an animal. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my brand new vanity space. This is probably one of the craftiest things I've ever done and I'm just so excited to share it with you guys. To sum it all up, I have been on a major redecorating spree. I'm currently in the midst of completely redoing what was my old beauty room and I'm turning it into my new office. Stay tuned, I will be doing a video on that once it is finished. Now my initial plan was to keep my vanity in my office but as I was kind of going along the process, I realized more and more how much I didn't want my vanity in my home office. Having a really cool vanity space was really important to me. So it wasn't like I just wanted to, you know, pop a vanity against any wall in my house. I really wanted to create a space where I would be like excited to get ready at. So as I was kind of like going through my house, just trying to brainstorm what I should do with this like vanity area, I was walking, you know, towards my bedroom and I realized that I had this closet literally right next to my bedroom that was a very poorly designed closet. It was like a closet that just wasn't quite deep enough to actually have some like proper storage and there was no hanging space so the closet kind of just became a space where I would just throw shit when I didn't want to put it away so then as I was like staring at this just really poorly designed closet it just hit me and I was like you know what what if I take off the doors and get rid of all of this shit that's in here and turn this space into my vanity space because the actual location was kind of ideal. It's right next to my bedroom, also right next to my closet. So it's kind of that perfect like getting ready area. I am so proud of this, you guys. Like I feel like such a crafty ass woman. So I'm gonna be going through the whole entire space with you guys today. I'm gonna be showing you guys kind of the little touches that I did in here because there's like one thing that I did that I'm so proud of myself for and I feel like it's a really good hack if you are also struggling with the same issue that I struggled with. I'll get into it in a little bit. And of course, I will also be going through what's actually in my everyday vanity. I would love if you guys could let me know all of your thoughts down below in the comments. Of course, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to join the fam. So without further ado, Let's get right into it. Okay, so first things first, let's actually talk about the space as a whole. So obviously the first step to this whole transformation is when I took the doors off of this closet that obviously completely opened up the space and just kind of created this really nice little nook that's probably about like two, two and a half feet deep. Actually, let me measure it. Oh my god, I'm so good. It's exactly two feet deep. So the biggest logistical issue that I faced while creating this space was definitely the lighting because this was a closet. There was no lights in here. There were no pot lights. There were no outlets even for me to even like plug something in. So after doing quite a bit of research, I decided to try out the Philips Hue LED strips. There were three main reasons why I thought these LED strips would be perfect for the space. The first reason is because you just got to plug them in. There's no actual like electrical wiring that needs to be done, which was ideal because I do have an outlet kind of right outside of the actual closet area. The second reason is that they were super easy to install. You literally just stick them onto your wall and they already have like the sticky the sticky sticker <laughs> on the back of the light. So you just gotta peel it off and just attach to the wall and you're done. Third reason, which I thought was the coolest, is that you can change the light to literally any color on the rainbow. So of course, right now I have like a very natural, normal daylight light going on, but let me show you this. This is so freaking cool. So I have a little app on my phone and I can change the light to any color I want. So for example, if I'm feeling extra spicy as I'm getting ready. So anyways, I stuck three of the lights all across the door frame, kind of snaking all around and that lit up the space perfectly. And that was really the key because if I didn't have this light, honestly, I don't think I would be able to use this actually as my vanity space. So besides the actual lighting, let's talk about the other pieces that I have in here. Of course, we have the vanity itself. So this guy is from West Elm. I'm really, really happy with it. I really love the kind of like the vintage vibe that it has and it has two nice sized drawers. The drawers aren't the largest things in the world um my last vanity honestly I feel like had a little bit more drawer space but I'm fine with it because it kind of limits the amount of clutter that I'm able to create which is great because as we've seen in my past vanity declutters 
it can get disgusting. Now, I totally could have put a mirror in front of me and I still can if I want to, but I ended up putting up this print that I actually already had lying around in my house. And because it says ooh la la, I just felt like it would fit perfectly in a vanity space. So I really wanted to incorporate it in here. Um, so I decided to put this big print right in front of the vanity, which I really like. I feel like it adds quite a bit to the space. So because I don't have a mirror in front of me, I knew I had to have quite a large and like good mirror um, to sit on my actual vanity and that's where this guy comes in. This is a simple human mirror I don't know the exact name of it off the top of my head But I'll link it below in case you are interested This is a pretty big mirror But what I really like about it is that it does have lighting on both sides Which is what I needed because since I pretty much only have overhead lighting I have no other like light around me I needed something to evenly light up my face while I'm doing my makeup and this does that so it's great now in every single place in my house i need to add some sort of greenery or plants just to kind of liven up the space there's something about putting a plant in a room that just makes it so much warmer and inviting and so i knew i needed to put obviously a fake plant in this space because there's zero light in here so no plant would actually survive so i decided to put these two fake palms that i actually already had in like my entryway that just kind of weren't doing it there and i think they're really awesome back there i feel like it really fills the space nicely last but not least what i'm sitting on right now this is the newest addition to the space went to home since yesterday once again found this stool almost peed my pants, I was so excited. This was like the most perfect stool, stool of my dreams for like under $100. The best part about this stool, actually there's two great things about it, is first of all, there's actually storage inside of it, so the top comes off, you could put stuff in it. I haven't really put anything in it just yet, but I know I will definitely find some stuff to stuff this with. Secondly, There's wheels on this bad boy, which honestly I never thought was like a necessity for like a vanity stool, but now I know I only want wheels on my stool forever. So that is it for the actual space. Now let us talk about the vanity, what is on top of it, and what is inside of it. So on the right hand side of my vanity, I have this organizer that I got from HomeSense. I probably go to HomeSense like once a week. Sex is great and all, but have you ever found the most amazing, trendy, cool, furniture and home decor items and then paid like a fraction of a cost that you normally would at another store. First things first, got two scrunchies from Chelsea King. I love these scrunchies. They're really great just to kind of have on hand if I ever want to put my hair up while I'm doing my makeup. And I kind of just store them as you can see on my Bumble and Bumble does it all light hold hairspray. I have my current dry shampoo that I'm using. This is the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. This is a very, very intense dry shampoo. Um, I like it because it does actually, you know, get rid of the oil, but it almost makes my hair feel a little bit dirtier because it's so intense and it really gets in there. So I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this guy. Always gotta have a texturizer on hand. This is my Oreeb Dry Texturizing Spray. These are the last two styling products that I have for my hair and probably two of my favorites. This guy is the Kerastase Length Caring Gel Cream. It's pretty much like a heat protector, leave-in conditioner type product. Then this is the Kerastase Serum and this is just really nice to kind of hydrate your hair and just make it really nice and shiny and I always mix these two products together. Then moving on to the skincare that I like to keep up my vanity. So these are the products that I like to wear specifically before applying my makeup. Um, this guy is actually very new in my life. You may recognize it from my Sephora VIB haul that I just did. It's the Youth to the People Adaptogen Soothe and Hydrate Activated Mist. I've been using this, trying it out. I have been really liking it so far. It's pretty much like a serum, but in a spray form. It's really, really hydrating. And if you have dry skin, this is such a cool product. Of course, gotta have my Alper oils with me at all times. I literally have one of these in every single room in my house because I'm constantly like rehydrating my face, especially now that it's so cold outside. This has just been such a lifesaver. This is the Midnight Boost. And then as far as my moisturizers go, you guys know I love my Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. Love this for before my makeup because it hydrates, but it's not a super oily consistency. And then I also really like the Ole Henriksen Sea uh, Rush Brightening Gel Cream. They're both super great. So that is everything that I like to keep in this organizer. Beside that, I have my body cream because I always forget to apply body cream when I get out of the shower. So I figured if I put my body cream at my vanity when I do my makeup, it's kind of just going to be a reminder to actually moisturize my skin because 
trust me i need it and i just honestly always forget so this is a gentle reminder from me to me to moisturize my body this guy is probably one of my all-time favorite moisturizers it is lush dream cream it's so beautiful smells really nice and like gentle and it's just very hydrating on the right hand side over here i have some brushes i really wanted to make sure that i wasn't you know overcrowding my vanity space with unnecessary things and that included too many brushes because i've done that before where i've had like literally three or four of these things just on my vanity with all these crazy amounts of brushes. So I got all the basics here, a variety of brands. I've got Real Techniques, Smith, Mac, Sigma, Morphe. And yeah, they're great. Next to my brushes, I have my jewelry and my perfume. This is actually very new to me. I never used to put my perfume or my jewelry on my vanity, even though it makes so much sense to do so because again, similar to my body cream, I always forget to put my jewelry on and to put um, my perfume on. So over here, I have my current favorite like late fall wintry scents. So I have my Byretto Bibliotheque, which really does smell like a dusty, fragrant library, but in the best way possible. And then we have Lola Bo Tonka 25. These are actually pretty similar to one another. They're both very musky. And then I always, always have to have my Nemat Vanilla Musk with me because this is something that I like to mix with literally any perfume that I'm wearing. Um, somehow it works with every single perfume and it kind of just adds a really nice sweet note to whatever I'm wearing. And then over here, I just kind of throw my everyday jewelry in here. So I have like my Gemini, medallion necklace right now i'm wearing my little leo one i've got these cute little earrings from the essay lalonde and daisy collection and then of course we have my ring this is my points of light ring from my collaboration with stillness by the way if you did not know my collection has launched with stillness i'm actually wearing my points of light hoops right now so i will link that down below if you haven't yet had a chance to check out all the pieces and also if you want to you know hear more about the collection if this is the first time you're hearing of it i'll link the video where i explain everything so that is everything that is on top of the vanity now let's actually get into the makeup that is on the interior. So I decided to kind of organize this vanity in the simplest way possible. In each bin, I pretty much put the makeup products that correspond to a specific category or parts of the face. So in this bin, I have all of my base products. So I have my primers, foundations, and concealers. I have one primer here, and it is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright face primer. I love this. It kind of just adds a little bit of like a glow to the skin, just provides a nice base. It's also nice and hydrating. It's a pretty like simple, good day-to-day -day primer that really goes with any foundation, which is why I put it in here. I have four of my favorite everyday foundations. You guys have seen all of these before. I have two of the Nude 6 foundations. This is the Nude 6 tinted cover and then the Nude 6 tinted blur stick. These are both really great when I kind of want to go for a no makeup makeup look. They're very, very, very light coverage. So I really like these if I kind of just want to like throw something on when I'm running errands. My Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer, probably the one that I use the most in here. This stuff is so great because it feels like a tinted moisturizer, but it actually gives quite a nice amount of coverage, like probably about a medium coverage. Looks so natural looking and it's just really great for day to day. What I'm wearing on my skin right now is my Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. I was like obsessed with this at a certain point, I think during the summertime, kind of forgot about it after a while, but now I'm back on the Sunshine Skin Tint train. I would say this is almost in between the Laura Mercier and the Nude 6 Tinted Cover as far as coverage goes, but it's similar in that it just gives like a really natural effect to the skin. Got one last foundation in here. Actually, it's a little mini like sample size. It's the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. This guy has been my go-to going out foundation. Has a little bit more coverage, definitely a lot more coverage than the Tinted Moisturizers that I just showed you. And it still gives like a nice kind of radiant glow to the face. As far as concealers go, for whatever reason, there's quite a bit of repetition in here. I have two shades of the Cover FX Power Play Concealer, which is a great medium coverage concealer, and two shades of the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have Medium 2 and Light 2.5 in the NARS, and then N Light 2 and N Medium 1 for the Cover FX. I have two shades because I, I got a little bit tan when I was in Hawaii and I didn't have any concealer that matched me, so. Had to pick up some new ones. 
Those two concealers are kind of like medium full coverage. So I also have two other concealers that are a little bit lighter for my lighter makeup days. I have my Elia True Skin Serum Concealer. This is a product that I'm still kind of testing out. Not 100% sure about it yet, so stay tuned for this guy. But one that I know I love, and I actually have multiple shades of this as well. And whenever I buy multiple shades of any product, it's obviously because I love it. Uh, this is the Josie Moran Vibrancy Argon Oil Full Coverage Concealer Fluid. This guy's very hydrating and it's very lightweight, but it still gives actually quite a nice amount of coverage. Last but not least for my base bin, I've got my powder. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. I just want to finish this guy. I've hit pan on this. I'm so close to finishing it, so I just want to use this up. I also have been using lately the Charlotte Tilbury Color Corrector in Medium 2. It's just a nice little peach color corrector. I tend to just jump between this one and the Becca Under Eye Corrector. They're both really great. This one is a little bit more peach. The Becca one's a little bit more pink, um, but I've kind of been on the corrector bandwagon as of late. I never really used to be a big fan of color correcting, but it seems that things have changed quite a bit because I've been using them so much underneath my eyes and they really do make quite a big difference. So that's it for the base bin. The next bin is my cheek bin. So this has my bronzers, my blushes, and my highlighters. So starting off first with all of my cream nude sticks products. If you watch any of my videos, you probably already know how much I love the nude sticks. Nudies, I use them pretty much every single day. They're some of my favorite cream products. So I have three of the blushes and then one of the bronzers. I have Sunset Strip, Poppy Girl, and Cherry Blossom Babe. These are just so great for every day just to pop on. They give such a nice natural flush to the cheeks. And I also love my Nude Sticks Bond Eye Bay, which is the cream bronzer. Of course, also have my Tom Ford Shade Illuminate in Intensity One. I use this cream bronzer pretty much every single day. And then the last bronzing product that I have in here, actually the last liquid bronzing products, I actually have two more, <laughs> is this Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. This is just a great product to add to your moisturizer or your foundation if you want to add a little bit of like a bronzy glow. I use this all the time. For my powder bronzer, I have Fenty Private Island, one of my current favorites. I've kind of been back into contouring lately, so I do also have my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Uh, this is an oldie but a goodie. It's such a great little product, and I also use the highlighter in here. It's what I'm actually wearing on my cheeks today. For my powder blushes, I only have two in here. These are also new from my Sephora VIB haul that I just did. These are both of the Patrick Ta blushes that I picked up during the sale, and she's passionate which is this really, really pretty peachy color. And then She's Sincere, which is the most amazing, kind of like peachy nude. They're both so, so pretty, and I like layering them, especially with the cream blushes. In the third bin, I have all of my eye stuff. So my eyeshadows, eyeliners, and all of that. So first, let's talk about eyeshadow palettes. So I have these two neutral palettes that I have been really, really loving as of late, especially this guy over here. I've been loving it. This is another product that I got during the sale, and I gotta say, like, Definitely happy that I picked it up. It is the Melt Cosmetics 27 palette. I actually use this for my eye look today and you guys these shades are just Like neutral heaven if you are into those like pinky tones, which I definitely am Those are like the neutral shades that I always gravitate towards this palette is literally a dream for that I also have one of the new Huda Beauty nude palettes. This is nude rich always like to have a variety of eyeshadow toppers with me because I constantly use them Especially when I'm feeling a little bit lazy and I don't really want to go in and do a complete eye look I'll just literally throw this on my lid and blend it out with one more eyeshadow and it creates the most perfect Look with really very little effort. So I have three of the new hourglass scattered light eyeshadows Which I love the shade ray. This is like the most beautiful kind of like smoky taupe color. I love it um, Then you have foil which is more gold Gold, and then Molten, which is a little bit more red. And then for more of like a neutral everyday topper, I have my Natasha Denona Crystal Top Coat in Nude. This is kind of just like a champagne, really pretty, just to throw all over the lid with honestly no other eyeshadow, just to create a little bit of like a glow on the lid. For my eyeliners, the two that pretty much always stay in here are my Marc Jacobs Eyeliners in Blacker and Earthquake. These are my favorite black and dark brown eyeliners. They're just super long wearing. They're very creamy and easy to work with. These two guys though change up quite often, especially the black one. I'm constantly trying different and new black liquid eyeliners. Um, so this one that I'm currently using is the Huda Beauty Life Liner. Um, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this just yet, but I will keep you guys updated. And I also have been using more lately the Benefit Roller Liner in Brown. I've also been using this liquid eyeshadow from Stila quite a bit. It is a suede shade liquid eyeshadow in the shade Midnight Espresso. 
the most amazing like purple based cool toned brown color. I've spoken about this before, it's the most amazing color and I love, love, love this. Like all over the lid, blend it out and then with Hourglass Ray on top, oh my God, it's the most perfect look. These two are kind of boring but necessary. I have my NARS eyeshadow primer. This one is in the shade light. It's like one of the tinted ones. And then I have a pair of lashes in here. This is just my Velour Effortless Lash in For Real though, which is actually my favorite pair. So the very last bin that's in here has brows and lips and then some miscellaneous things that you always have to have in your vanities. So first starting off with kind of like the miscellaneous lip stuff. So my lip balms, these are actually brand new from Laneige and they're so delicious. I adore the lip sleeping mask. Every time they come out with new scents or flavors, I always pick them up and these are the new holiday scents. The pink one is Sweet Candy which you would think would be like obnoxious and I was a little bit like concerned about it because I ordered it online so I didn't have a chance to smell it before I bought it, but it's actually really delicious. It smells like cotton candy almost. And then the blue one is mint chocolate, which smells exactly like mint chocolate. It's really great. <laughs> so as far as other like lip balmy type lip products that I like to keep in here, I also have my Fresh Sugar Rose Lip Treatment. This is pretty much just like a tinted lip balm. I love this, it's just great to throw on. Um, my Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Grapefruit. I don't even need to say anything, you guys know how much I love this. And then my Lano Lips Hydrating Lip Luminizer in Desert Glow. It's another really great just tinted lip balm. This one has a lot of shimmer to it as well, so it's really pretty on the lips. Things can get really carried away when it comes to lip products, so I really tried to limit myself with how many I allowed myself to store in here. Um, I just really wanted the ones that I definitely do reach for day to day, and these are all of them. The one lipstick that I use so, so often is actually this guy from Gucci. This is the Gucci Lip Balm in No More Orchids. It looks like a really bright coral in the tube, but when you apply it to your lips, it's actually quite sheer, and it kind of just livens up the lips just like the perfect amount. And it's also like a really nice, very like glossy-ish type of formula. So I love this for day to day. And then I have my three current favorite nude lipsticks. I have my MAC Patisserie, which is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's a great kind of deeper nude. And then two lipsticks from the new Natasha Denona lipstick collection. This is the I Need a Nude in 11NB Natasha. It's a nice neutral nude. And then 13NB Allison, which is a little bit of a deeper nude. And I actually like layering the two, putting this guy all over and then Natasha right in the center. Creates a really, really pretty look. For my lip liners, I got two of my favorites, Pat McGrath Contour and then my Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil and Endless Cacao. For my brows, I got two of my all-time favorite brow products here. We have my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number four and then my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. These two products are just the best, like really nothing compares. The Precisely My Brow Pencil has been my favorite for the longest time. It's just the best to create really nice, like small hair-like strokes. Um, it's really, really nice and precise. It's kind of like a brow product that I'll never really stray from. Um, and then the 24 Hour Brow Setter is my all-time favorite brow gel. This brow gel is the best. If you want to create like defined fluffy looking brows, this is going to give it to you. The actual wand on this brow gel is really spiky, so it actually does a really good job of literally combing through your brow hairs and defining like each and every one. And it's just like one of those brow gels that just does the trick and does it well. For my mascara, I have my Elia Limitless Lash Mascara. It's one of my current favorites. I've spoken about this also time and time and time again. And then the last few things are very, very, very random. I have just like a little thing of bobby pins. Tweezers and scissors from Tweezerman. I have this little, oh. <laughs> This is a little hair clip from IGK. It's just really good for getting like those bangs out of the way without creating like a crease in the hair. And a face razor <laughs> because I do shave my face. Fun fact, I got these little face razors off of Amazon. They're really great just to get rid of peach fuzz. I don't really have a lot of hair in my face to be honest with you, but um, I find that when I remove any peach fuzz that is there, my makeup does go on a lot smoother. So I do use this probably like once a month. So guys, that is it for my everyday vanity tour. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and enjoyed seeing how I created a vanity space out of a closet. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below as per usual. Let me know your thoughts on this space, what you think maybe I should add. I'm kind of thinking of maybe adding some like floating shelves in the right hand corner over here because it's a little bit empty, but I also don't really need shelves, but maybe I will down the line, who knows. Of course, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to join the fam and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.